at the request of a very persistent viewer, Shelly Rourke, this design is for you. I have my goth model, my goth set, <laughs> and we're gonna do a goth design. Let's get started. So this design is a goth design, as I mentioned, and I'm not usually very organized, am I, Tisha? No. <laughs> but today, I got really organized and I've set out a design of what I'm gonna do because all the nails are gonna be a little bit different. Sometimes, like the steampunk video, I sit down and I sort of get all my stuff and I sort of work as I go and it just comes out at the end because it's an inlay and essentially the same on all the fingers. But this design is going to be different on every finger. And if I just kind of went for it, I might do too many similar things on all the fingers and I want them to stand out, but still be within harmony. So I've drawn it out, which each finger is going to be. That's organized for me. Yes. <laughs> Tisha knows. Tisha is my beautiful goth niece. <laughs> she looks beautiful in goth colors, which is black. And I thought she'd be an appropriate model. She's also the manager for my salon at Nail District. So today she has no nails on and we're going to have fun. We're going to sculpt the nails on with acrylic and then we're going to do the design. So let's get going. So we're going to start sculpting these right away. And we're going to do long pointy almonds of course because it sort of screams that when you're doing a goth design coffin would be fantastic for a design like that as well okay i actually haven't used these these are max forms and they're nice and long perfect for a stiletto give a little wiggle I'm gonna pinch them really tight too because I want them to be quite sharp. Yeah. Now, Tisha, you normally get gel polish in the salon all the time. She doesn't like her nails too long, so she is helping me out here mm -hmm. and going for a nice long design so we can make a good impression with these. Mm -hmm goth nails. I was up till two in the morning last night because I kept switching gears on the colors I was going to use and I'm texting her. <laughs> is this goth? <laughs> yeah, is this a goth design? Is this appropriate? You know, all that kind of stuff. I obviously don't wear those kind of goth things and nothing against it. I think it's beautiful. <laughs> I especially love your um, choker. In fact, um, I'm going to be doing a um, what is that? A cameo thing Ooh. on your nail. Oh. So I can't believe that you wore that. I mean, that is so perfect <laughs> what I'm doing. We didn't coordinate. I just told her, you know, wear, just do you. <laughs> <laughs> and I knew she'd be wearing something similar to this because this is what she dresses like. So it's totally perfect for my design today. So I'm just going to build these out and I'm probably going to buzz through this part really quick so we can get to the good stuff, the design. So if you want some in-depth instruction on how to build acrylic, Cameraman's going to put a card somewhere and you can click on that and get some more detail. One thing I wanted to quickly mention, there are two very important aspects to nails. And that is one is the build, the sculpt, the making of the actual nail. And two is the design. And often clients forget that the build of the nail is super, super important when they mostly focus on the design. And I get it. That's what they want to do. But it's up to us to make sure that structure is there first. So even though this is like super important, if I don't do this well, no matter how beautiful I do the design, if it doesn't go on a beautiful, foundationally strong set of nails, you could break them and then you lose all your design. So this is the most important step to a long lasting design. Be ashamed to spend 100, 150, whatever dollars on a beautiful design and then they all break because the foundation is not strong enough. used to wear them long too. Okay. used to wear them like long, not quite as long as this, but I remember you had them pretty long. I know. 
Okay, we're just going to motor along and build these guys right out. I actually like these forms. These are really nice. They got a nice stiffness to the paper, which is really nice when you're doing a form. Okay, so I'm going to pull all the forms off and then I'm going to sculpt these up and then we can get ready for the design. I particularly really like filing a pointy or a stiletto nail. They're one of the easiest to file because you're just all going to the one point to so make sure it doesn't get crooked. Coffin's a little harder because you have to really measure it and make sure you're doing it accurately. But the point is quite easy. Sometimes I will though support it, like I'll hold it underneath because I am putting some pressure on there so it doesn't break off. Because <laughs> it is long. Okay, I'm gonna do some e-file on this as well. I like to do this near the cuticle. It's easier to get an e-file in if you know what you're doing with it as opposed to the hand file. Sort of the hazards of a nail technician's job you always wreck your own nails. I use my fingers to protect the client and often I'll hit my acrylic nail with the drill. Tragic. <laughs> it is a bummer because you, you know, you make your nails look all nice like I did it till two o'clock last night making mm -hmm. sure my nails were all done. So sometimes I'll go just ahead and do all the cuticles and then I'll do all the shaping at the same time. And sometimes I'll just do each nail, the e-file and the shaping all at once. It just depends on the mood I'm in. Okay. Now these would be easily made into a coffin. We could decide to do that at the last minute. All you have to do is literally chop off the end and you've got an instant coffin, right? Last night when I was doing my own nails, I really realized one light pressured coat with the purple that I'm gonna use allows me to see the design on top. So this is one coat with the design over top and you can really nicely see it. But my thumb is also one coat, but look how much heavier I did it with. And that made it look quite a bit darker. So what I'm gonna do right now is do the purple on all the nails, but I'm gonna do it with a light touch, not a heavy hand. So the product I'm using is called Nail Chemi. And I picked it because, well, it's a beautiful shade of purple. And Tisha said, purple is really good in goth. So that's what I went for, is a really nice deep shade that we can play with. And look at this, this is beautiful. Look how deep that is. Strong pigment, but just beautiful. It really does say what I'm trying to accomplish with this goth design. So I'm gonna paint all the nails with this nail chemi color.
Now, if you're applying this directly to natural nails, you do want to use the base coat that they provided. I'm doing this to acrylic, and when you're doing it with gel or any other type of enhancement, you don't have to use that base coat. So you can see I was a little more heavier handed with that one than I even was the first two. Now if you want it to be lighter, you literally, and I don't know so much that I do, I'm just going to show you that you can pull some of the color off if you feel you needed to. You don't, I'm gonna watch my sleep. You don't want to, uh, let the color can pool a little bit if it's laying on its side when you do the thumb. So you just wanna do the thumb last. Now this is different, it's out of a pot, so it goes on a little bit thicker, which is great. It's not as runny as if you were painting it on with a brush, like out of a bottle. So it probably wouldn't pool. Okay, Tisha, I'm just gonna put you in a little hand in there. We're gonna give that a 60 second nuke. Now, when I did this design, I drew it like, I start in my mind when I'm doing my own nails from my thumb to my pinky, but when I'm doing a client in this particular hand, I'm doing it thumb to pinky, but I drew it on the opposite side. It's if you were reading it backwards. So the thumb, I've actually drawn out exactly what I wanna do with each finger. So the thumb, I'm gonna do some swirls and I'm gonna leave that with the one coat, but the cameo, no, I'm gonna leave it with one coat too. Anything that I'm stamping on top or design I wanna put on top, I wanna to be able to see that purple. Cause the purple does get, if you look at this, this is actually the purple, but it's two or three coats. This is black. Ooh. See how close they are together? Beautiful. Mm -hmm. But it's so dark with two coats. It looks really almost like a deep raisin, almost black. So I want to see the purple through it. So I am going to just do a very light coat. So I think I'm just going to leave that. So I'm going to clean this guy up. We'll put the purple away. Let's check the color name on it too. So Nail Kimley sent me a whole bunch of stuff. They sent me a bunch of glitters and base and top coats, beautiful shades and very nice to work with, I might add. You're gonna see them popping up in my videos a little more often. This doesn't really say the color and I don't think I can see it on the front. No, it doesn't, act well, I guess it doesn't have to say the color because it shows you the color. <laughs> There's two stamp designs I'm gonna use on this. So let's do that right up, right out the gate. So here's my stamping plate. And I'm using stamping plate CJSH-20. It's the Halloween thing. So we are gonna steal the swirls out of here. I got my little scraper, my little stamper. I'm doing a whole collection of different stuff today. Okay, I'm gonna scrape it now. Oh, it stamped up pretty good, look at that. Okay, now what did I have? I had the, the swirls on the thumb. Now the thumb is bigger as you can see, see that? Now this is nail polish I'm stamping on top of the gel. So because of that, I am going to actually add it again, like I'm gonna to have to fake it. So I'm gonna press that right in. Oh, that's really pretty. Now there's still some design, see, left on this side over here. So I'm actually gonna steal that and do it right across the top here. Now let me see this part right here. And add to it, and you can't really tell that that was a bit missing. It's just because it's so long, right? So I'm just going to tap that in like that. Okay, so what I have to do is I'm gonna stamp a cameo on the index finger, but I wanna clean it first because inside the cameo, we're going to put the um, glitter. Ooh. So I'm going to use this cameo thing here, so cute. Oh, I forgot to clean my thing, so I'm gonna make sure that I roll it in the center. And I am going to actually take up the pieces that are on there because I don't want it to get anywhere else on the nail, although I can clean it. 
I'm going to stamp that little cameo right on the center of that nail and roll it all around so it gets all on there, trying to avoid anything else. So there was a little residue that got right here, but I'm just going to clean that off. Okay, I'll clean that later. So what I'm going to do, though, I'm going to get my gummy gel. And in the very center, okay, so I'm going to put the gummy gel just inside the circle. That's why I cleaned the nail and got rid of any of the stick from the gel residue because I don't want my little pixie bits to stick to anything but the inside of this nail. Anything but the gummy gel that I've placed here. It's hard to see, but I'm just looking for the shiny parts and I'm just going inside this black frame. Now usually when I use the gummy gel, I use it with a clear layer of a top coat, namely the shiny, but this one I'm not going to because the glitter, the pixie dust will stick to everything. So I'm not going to do that. Sometimes I use the inside of my stamping plate to catch all these beads. Okay, now I'm gonna pour this directly on here. And all my little pixie beads are gonna get caught up in that center. So then what I do is I just take my finger, very handy tools my nails are, and just bump it all in so it stays within that frame. That's good. Okay, so now I'm just going to ask you to nuke that for a sec. Thanks, Tish. And now I've caught this all in here. Well, most of it. Some <laughs> caught on my towel. I hate to waste these because they are just so extraordinary. I love these things. I don't use them enough. These are called Crystal Pixie. They come in all sorts of colors. I thought this was a perfect color for this design that we're doing. I have them on a couple of my nails too. Okay, let me see that. Okay, pretty. Now there's always a debate whether to top coat those Crystal Pixies but I don't tend to want to, but I might top coat around it, but we'll do that later. So I just need a little bit of gel paint. I'm using again from the Kemi line. This is, how do you pronounce this? Um, <laughs> O-N-Y-X. I think it's Onyx. Yep, no, I think you're right. Yep. Nice and black. So we got a bunch of that. And this finger is kind of bumpy and stuff, but it's okay because we're putting Pixie on it. So I am just going to paint the design that I want on here. And I sort of painted some sort of medieval thing. So, and I'm doing that so I can see it. I'm just going to come up like this. I'm going to come down and I'm going to come in like this. And this, like again, is just so I can see where I want to put the pixie. going to get you to nuke that for a second and that is just sort of setting the design of where I want the pixies to go. I'm just going to clean off the black. Okay that should be good. Okay so I'm going to pick up some of the gummy gel but just it'll be kind of shiny. Coloring in the lines. Yeah <laughs> yeah exactly. Wherever I put the gummy gel the pixies are going to stick. So if you go over, it's not a big deal because this is just a guideline. There's a cat hair in there. <laughs> that cat. <laughs> so much fluff. <laughs> oh, never. He's rarely in here, but he seems to leave a bunch of fur behind. So I want to make sure I get the gummy gel everywhere. 
because wherever it is, of course, the pixies are going to stick to. Get up in this little swoop over here. Now, if you're very patient, you could lay the pixies in one by one by one by one. I just don't think I have that kind of patience. <laughs> just dump it on. <laughs> yeah, that's what I want to do. That's the goal here. I just want to dump it on. Now that could be a bit thick, so I am just going to smooth it over a little bit with a bigger brush. And hope I got every area that I want to get that pixie on. And remove the cat hair. <laughs> I charge extra for cat hair. Now I have to remove this because this was my pixie dish. Okay, multitasking today. And I'm going to pour this pixies onto the design once again. Oh man, this stuff. That is beautiful stuff. I just, I can't get enough of it. Love it. So this kind of, I wanted to make sure I got a little swirl up there and get rid of this. And you don't like them on the side. So I'm just going to push them a little bit so it's not too far off the side. I don't know if you can see that, but it's flooding a little bit. I'm just going to take them right out of the cuticle. That looks pretty. And I'm going to back this one down. I wanted those swirls to be noted. Now there is a tool for this and you certainly could use it, but clearly I am not. <laughs> My tools are my nails. I do use them. We tell clients not to use them as tools, but we do it all the time. Tricks of the tree. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's starting to take a nice shape. Okay, I like that. I hadn't actually practiced that, so I wasn't sure how it would turn out. So nuke that bad boy. I'm excited. Okay, now I'm gonna wanna waste these. I don't wanna waste them, so I'm gonna pour them all back into here. Again, I love this stuff, so I want to preserve. I actually got some of this, and I didn't actually take it to the shop. Don't tell the girls, because I was keeping it to myself. But they're going to see this and know. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> no, they don't watch my videos. <laughs> they don't want to see more of me. <laughs> oh, that's right. Okay. So now, oh, here's the big one. I was going to paint a sword. Ooh. Yeah. I'm going to paint a sword on there. Okay. So I've got me brushes. So I'm going to use this. This is, Joy and Mia brought this out. It's called Illuminix. And it's the base to a whole line that they brought out. I did a video on it with the jelly nails. I just love that stuff. But the base is very silver. And it looks just like a sword. And that's what made me think of it. So I'm going to put some of this on here. And I need a little bit of black too. Okay, so I'm just going to paint a sword on here. The look of them are really cool and it does kind of give us that medieval kind of attitude with this. It's sort of gothy, right? that bad boy one more time just those little black dots that we did on there and now I'm going to do one more finger we're going to do a full pixie and then I've done the uh the top coat and now I'm just pouring like crazy so pretty yeah <laughs> oh man this stuff I honestly I can't get enough of this stuff so when I do do that make sure that you wipe away from any cuticle any on the finger and oop, there's one escaped and then I will push my finger into it a little bit on the side, the length of the nail. So it's not like sticking up a bumping on the side when you look at it like that. You want to push them up into the center a little bit so they look really good. Okay, now I'm just going to top coat that dagger. And then we're going to take a look at those reveal shots. Well, I want to thank Shelly Rourke for giving me lots of encouragement with all her comments on my YouTube channel about doing a goth design. She kept sending those comments in over and over. It was awesome. And thank you, Tisha, for being my awesome model. Look at this perfect goth <laughs> model. And where did you get that choker? 
I got it online a long time ago. Really? <laughs> it's really, really pretty. That alone would have encouraged me. But I thank you, Shelley. And so thank you for taking care of my salon. She's a of great course. little receptionist <laughs> slash manager taking it. care of my girls. And thanks for joining me. You know, you have an Instagram. Yes. Uh, it's Tisha.Lane. I'm sure cameraman can put in a something here. I'll have a graphic for you. <laughs> and you'll put mine, I hope, somewhere along there. But you can join us on our Instagrams. We're always up to stuff behind the scenes. Thank you for joining me for my goth design. I had a blast doing it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Maybe you'll catch Tisha and one's coming up again soon. See ya.